This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. We want this lane here because we don't have a T-flow. We've got to pay for the Birkenhead Tunnel. We're on our way to Liverpool Docks. But I don't actually know where we're going in the docks. Hello, you all right, mate? Pay by card, please, yeah. yeah all right, was that 8.40, was it? It is, yeah. Lovely, thank you. Right. Cheers, mate. I um, just double checking the price because I can claim it back in, in expense. So yeah, we're on our way to Liverpool Docks. We've got to go pick up some steel plates. We're taking it to to Wales. To uh, I can't I can't remember the place. I think it's it's an SA postcode, so it's sort of not too far away from Cardiff. I don't think. Um, but yeah, steel plates. But I don't know exactly where we're picking it up from in Liverpool Docks. All I've been told is Peel Ports and Canada Dock. So I had a look on Google Maps and I think I could find an, an entrance with a gateway to Canada Dock. So I'm going to go in there, speak to the to the guys in the office, be like, am I in the right place? And then hopefully we can go from there. Fingers crossed we are. <laughs> um, we're up against it today. I don't think it's going to get delivered personally, but if we get loaded quickly, who knows, maybe there's a chance we will get it off. Um, who knows, who knows, we won't know until we get there. So, I'll, uh, I'll see you in a sec when we're just around the corner. Right, so we're about a mile and a half away, we're going to take a left here. Oh, the lights just turned red, haven't they? Yeah. Right, we'll take a left here. I think it's one of those places, Liverpool, where it's a bit like Milton Keynes in a way, where you can go down lots of different roads to get to your destination. Um, I'm sure if you're a local guy, a guy or girl, then um, you probably know the better way to get there. I was waiting, slowing down for ages for you to get to the crossing, and then you got there as soon as I went on. I was watching that bloke for ages, seeing if he was crossing, he was away, and as soon as I approached, he got really close to it. Never mind. But yeah, I can imagine... I can imagine there's probably a quicker way local people would probably know about, but this is the way the sat-nav's in, so I'm just going this way. Following the sat-nav. Is that a stadium in front? Is that a football stadium? I don't know, no idea. Arch bridge, 15 feet. Yeah, we're good. I did not know there was an arch bridge here. Du -du -du -du. It's uh, compulsory for trucks to have a running height, so my running height is there just so I could do that, just have a quick look before going under. I think, if I were to guess, is that like Everton's new uh, new football stadium? I have to guess, I would say that's what it is. Uh, we're turning right here. Do you know what, sat now is saying turn right, but I think it'd just be quicker to go straight down. We're going to go straight down, because that's the road we want to be on, straight down there. Yeah, the sat-nav is telling me to turn right and then go down there, then turn left, then turn right again. Or we could just go straight down and turn right. <laughs> so, I'm using my own intuition here. But I reckon that's football stadium. I'm sure, I'm sure someone would tell me if it is or not, but I reckon that is. I reckon that's the new Everton stadium. I'm not a big football fan, I'm just guessing that. This is a giveaway road, so maybe that's why it's sat now we're saying go right then go left, because it's all traffic lights. No given way. He did flash me out, thank you very much. So, we are looking for Canada Gate, Canada Dock, number three. And all I've been told is Peel Port, Canada Dock, number three. That's all I've been told. I've got a street address, which is Regent Road, which is the road we're on now. Other than that, that's all we got. And I know I'm picking up steel plates and I've got a reference number. Uh, yeah, other than that, <laughs> I don't know. So I'm hoping we're heading to the right place. I delivered to that S Norton a few times. And also for everyone down here, you can park up for the night, which I have done. So I have been down here a few times in the past. 
question is, are we going to go to the right place first time? Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Now, which left is it? I think it's the next left. I think it's in here. Du, 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 du. Morning, mate. No, I don't have a clue, to be honest. If I can get your wisdom, that'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, I've got to go to... Du, 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 du. My paperwork just says Peel Ports Canada Dock N3. N3. Uh, N steel I'm picking up steel plate, is what it says. Steel plate? Yeah. Henry Bath you're after. Pardon? Henry Bath. I've got no contact details. Well, the steel terminal's down the road, but try Henry Bath in its place. Henry Bath on the right of that roadway. So. It's not there, you've got to come out to a left, and it's the next. On the where do you want me to go? Well, it's up to you, it's plate. I don't know whether it's Henry Bath. I don't know, I've just been told steel plate. N yeah. N3 steel plate. Oh, I'd come back out here and go down the road. It's the next gate out on your left. Yeah, I'll try there then. All right, cheers, mate. Sign, it's only small, steel table. Okay, mate. Yeah, why do I think this is going to be a pain? This is going to be a pain, I can see it happening. Out of here, turn left, next gate. We might end up coming back here yet. Yeah? Turn left, next left. But I feel like it's going to be quite far down. Du -du -du -du. Oh, dearie, 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 dearie. So this is where we, I parked up before, just down here on the left. Is that gate open? No, it can't be. No, that's not open. <laughs> ah, in here. There's steel plates. Liverpool Steel and Metals Terminal. So yes, this could quite well be it. it does look promising, to be fair. Right, what I do have to do, 100%, is put some jackets on because it's quite cold out there. Is he going now? Ah, that also says uh, North 3 Canada Dock, N3, that's where I've been told to go. Okay, so this, this does look promising. This looks very promising. Put hivers on ready. Morning. Hello, mate. Morning. You're right. Well done, Not too bad. I think I'm in the right place. Canada Dock N3. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, pardon? Yeah, yeah, it says steel plate item description. I've got a reference number two. Five. Yeah. Go Good. Leleni. Yeah, uh, yeah, Diffid Steel, Leleni. I'm in the right place, I take it. Yeah, Wicked. Did you wait for me? Uh, Harry and Sons. Left round here. Drivers, please stop here and wait for instruction. I think we want to stop here then. That's a big plate. <laughs> so I've just pulled forward ever so slightly. There's a truck round there. I don't know whether he meant drive round there or not. So I've just pulled forward so people can see me either side. I am slightly past the stop sign, but never mind. Vehicles can still get past me and I can be seen, so. Because I'm, un I'm unsure if I'm in the right place. I'm pretty sure I am, but I don't know the rules and regs. But he said they'd be coming off break at 20 past. So in about 15 minutes, there's a guy behind me walking somewhere with paperwork. Hmm. Uh, it's very, very windy, very cold, but uh, we just put uh, Bearers on the trailer ready to go. We're right next to a ship. That's for sure. I think.
think they're trying to find the stuff they want to put on. I think. Not sure. But it's going to be stuff like this. This steel. Steel plates. So, I think I've only got six going on. That's three there. So, the whole entire load isn't going to be very sort of tall. It's going to be very low down low, but, but heavy. We've got some timbers down already. But I've got more timbers if needed. This might be the stuff that we're getting on. I don't know. We are loaded, this is it. Uh, it's only about 20 tonnes worth of weight. So with five tonne straps, you can get away technically with just four straps. Five, 10, 15, 20. Um, we're not gonna use just four straps. We're gonna double it and use eight and then add two and round it to 10 just to be safe. So let's get strapping. Okay, situation report. I'm cold, I'm wet. I'm shaking a little bit because I'm craving chocolate. <laughs> Every now and then I have like these little sugar rushes where I'm on a calorie deficit. Um, I'll be honest, I'm just craving a little bit of sugar right now. One more strap to go and then we're done. The wind keeps blowing the straps off as well, which is very annoying. But uh, we are getting there. I've already sort of prepped this one, so uh, what I've got to do is just tighten it up. But we're loaded and we're good to go. I've already put the destination to the sat nav, it's a good five hours to get there. The time now is half eleven. So that puts it to half past four before we get there. Plus, you may have just heard me say it's five hours away. We're going to do four and a half hours, which means we need to stop for 45 minutes away. Best case scenario, we ain't getting there until we've gone quarter past five. And they shut at five. <laughs> so I think this is delivery for the morning. Which then, then gives me a second problem because they don't open until nine o'clock today. According to Google anyway. But yeah, I will phone them. But here we go, here's the load. So it's literally just that, 10 straps all along. Maybe a bit overkill, but better to be safe than sorry. Rather than sorry that you weren't safe. Also corner boarded all the way down. I'm gonna jump in the truck. And uh, to be honest, I'm just going to crack on. I'll probably see you later on in a few hours' time when I know where, what we're doing, where we're delivering it, where we're stopping, where we're going home. I don't know, no idea. We'll, uh, I don't think I'm going home tonight. But uh, yeah, I'll see you in a little while. See you in a bit. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. I swear, Honestly, over the last 24 to 48 hours, all I've, all I've had is hold-ups everywhere, traffic everywhere. There's queues quite far back behind me, all slowing down for this broken down bus in lane one. <sighs> Admittedly, we passed it quite quick. We've got 10 minutes of traffic in front of me, going to my sat nav. Every day this week, I have been severely held up by traffic. The UK roads at the moment are a joke. Like, that looked like that bus broken down. It wasn't an accident. It looks like a mechanical failure. Fair enough. Be nice if there was a hard shoulder though, wouldn't it? Can we get into lane one? The last Matrix sign we passed said it was still closed. So we wait until we pass another Matrix sign. There is one on the left here, but... Yeah. Because these two Matrix signs are clear, and then there's national speed limit, look. So we're gonna get back into lane one. Anyway, we've got a rough idea of what we're doing. Um, I phoned the company that we're delivering to, and yeah, they're not gonna take it today. That was pretty obvious. Um, not only that, but it's actually going to a different place, 10 minutes up the road, but closer to the M4. So yeah, it's another one of their sites they want it at, so fair enough, it's a little bit closer. Um, but yeah, we need to contemplate when we're going to stop for a break. Now at the moment we are on nearly two hours of driving 
Uh, we're actually on one hour, 50 minutes. So we, we've got two hours and 40 minutes left before we need to stop and have a 45 minute break. Two hours, 40. Well, in two hours, 30 minutes, there is a place in Rasu, it's called BMI Redlands. I've, de- I've delivered there before and loaded there before. So it's a little industrial estate. I'm gonna park there. I'm gonna have a 45 minute break. Legally required 45 minute break. Now the question is, when I get there, which Satnav is currently saying is 20 to four, by the time I finish my break, it's gonna be half past four nearly. Do I just stop there? That is the question. Do I just stop there for the night? In other words, I'll be parked up at 20 to four. In the morning, it'd be, it'd be about an hour's drive in the morning. Um, so again, get up at six, get there for seven, Bob's your uncle. That's what I'm contemplating doing. Or I can have my 45 minute break, legally required, and then I can go a little bit closer. There's another place I've delivered to um, near Cardiff, and then I'll be half an hour away from where I need to be. So that's something I need to contemplate later after my 45. The trouble is, once I've stopped, I've had a 45 minute break and relaxed, do you really want to get back on the road? Especially at half past four, um, when it's going to be getting close to five, and then, you, then I'm going to be stuck in traffic come five o'clock as well, because I think it's a little bit more than half an hour away. So yeah, that's the next problem. Anyway, I'm rambling on. I'm really rambling on. <laughs> we're going to get to uh, the first place where we've got to stop for a break, and then we're going to decide there whether we're going to stay there for the night or not. So I will see you in two and a half hours. See you in a bit. Right, we are just coming off the main A road and uh, we're just around the corner from where we plan on taking our break. My taco, I can see it flashing. (laughs) Yeah, it's like, it's saying, you need a break, stop for a break. So that's what we're gonna do. For those of you who don't know, it will start flashing when you've got 15 minutes left to find somewhere to park. And we are literally on four hours, 27 minutes. We are cutting it fine, but we should be okay. We should be okay. Um, so yeah, we've literally driven four and a half hours straight, non-stop, all the way from Liverpool to get to where we are now. Um, no stopping. A little bit of traffic on the way, which has hindered us a little bit because we would have been here a little bit quicker if, if there were no traffic. But um, hey ho, we're here. We're here. Here's BMI Redland. This is why I've come here because I'm hoping for for at least a 45 minute break, I'm gonna pull up outside. These turbines are massive. I'm gonna pull up outside just for a 45 minute break at the very least, but I may end up staying the night. And it's quite likely actually that I will, to be honest. We'll have to see on that one. I think I'm gonna spin round, face back, so I'm facing this way then I'm on the other side of the road next to the path. I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, Can I spin around here in one go? I think I can. I'm gonna spin around here in one go, and then we're just gonna reverse back. Cause we've gotta be quick because the brake's nearly up. And yeah, man, I said we probably, I don't know, we might stay here or we might carry on. I I really haven't decided yet. I'm really quite tired, but then I have been driving for four and a half hours straight. Once we get a 45 minute break in, I'm not staying in the truck. I'm gonna get out and go for a walk, stretch my legs. I might feel different, um, but obviously I'll let you know. I'll let you know what the plan is. So uh, yeah, see you in a bit. Oh, nothing like a stretch in the middle of the road. Oh, sat down for four and a half hours straight. It's good to stretch. We're uh, gonna go for a little walk, I think. Need to take the keys out of the truck. Don't want to be sat around. I think I'm probably just gonna stay here, to be honest. I think so. That was a nice sounding truck. Tidy. I don't know if they recognise me or not, but it was a Scania T-Cab. 
you might see it when it turns. There we go. Anyway, if you recognise me, shout out to you. Either recognised me or was honking because I was in the road. <laughs> but I was out of the road before we passed, so I'm going to assume it's because you recognised me. Right. Let's go for a little walk, just loosen up these hips. I'll tell you what, it's a lot nicer than it was in Liverpool. <laughs> Is it me, or do these trees look like they're giving me the middle finger? Uh, <laughs> is that just me? I don't know, maybe I'm being weird. But yeah, don't get me wrong, it's a bit it's a bit windy. We're on top of a hill here. I suspect that's why there's windmills, whatever you call them. But uh, at least the sun is out, that's for sure. Well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my 45 minute break and then I'm definitely gonna stay for at least another hour because by the time my break's up it's gonna be nearly five o'clock I don't really want to be driving in traffic I've done enough of that over the last 48 hours so I'm definitely gonna stay here to at least 6 p.m. and then I may I may decide you know what let's drive for another hour to another parking space that I've parked out before it's about an hour away which will then mean I'm about 15, 20 minutes away from the delivery point in the morning. Now, if I get there for about 7 p.m., I can still have 11 hours off, start at six, even half six, and get there before 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. So I might do that. 45 minute break, an extra hour to get rid of rush hour traffic, then drive an hour, park up, nine hours off. Oh, sorry, 11 hours off. Or I might just stay here. <laughs> we'll see. We will see how I feel. So I'm just walking past the truck now the other direction. I'm not really working, I'm just looking. If I were to touch anything, you could probably then argue that I'm working on my brake, but uh, I'm just walking past and looking at it. It's all I'm doing. But it's all on there still, so. <laughs> That's good. Right, my break is is over, but like I said, I'm at least gonna stay another hour and then I will contemplate whether or not I want to move. Right now I'm just watching a bit of House of Cards on uh, the old Netflix, but you can see it over there. That's why I wanted to wait. I don't wanna be sat in that traffic. Not a chance. Um, but yeah, where that star is, Pretty much there is where we're going to be parking if we carry on. Um, but yeah, there's traffic there look, on the M4. So we'll see. It's uh, nearly quarter past five right now. So um, we'll see what the traffic looks like come six o'clock. And then we'll take it from there. Right, it's, uh, it's 20 to six. I've made the executive decision. We are going to start driving a little bit. It's annoying because there's still a lot of traffic, as you can see. But I'm hoping most of it will clear up soon. Um, I think the worst of it is there. It should clear up by the time we get there. So, but we're looking at seven o'clock by the time we park up. So, yeah, I don't really want to arrive too much later than uh, than seven. So we'll uh, we get going. Like I said, we've got the driving time. Park up at seven. Plenty of rest still. We can still have eleven hours off and start at six a.m. So we're going to go do that. Uh, we've been here for an hour and 42 minutes, so like that is pretty much 45 minutes, isn't it? And then an hour. Uh, what am I looking for? Reset suspension. There we go. Right, so I'm gonna go and I shall see you at the next stop. See you in a bit. Right, you join me at just gone 10 to 7, and we're just rocking up almost to our place where we're parking for the night. We're gonna be there in about three minutes' time. Gonna take a right at the next roundabout. So we're gonna take a right at this roundabout, Enterprise Park, Park Minton. Go on, nothing coming, nothing coming, nothing coming. Now there is. <laughs> now I want to go, there is something coming. Where's that white car going? All the way around, yes. Take it a little bit longer to get out. 
Audi's not in the KN, so it's not going round. Right. Oh, look, there's Salco over there. So we'll go right at this roundabout, and then we're going to go right at the next roundabout as well. And it should take us into the industrial estate where I have parked before. Ugh. I'm going to order now, starting to get a little bit tired. So, um, yeah, we are going to be parked up before 7 o'clock, which is good. We'll start at 6 tomorrow, so that gives us 11 hours off. We're on 8 hours and 5 minutes driving currently. So, um, we could still drive for another couple of hours if we really needed to. Um, and we started at 6.30 this morning, so we could work until 9.30 tonight. It's only 7. So, yeah, we could really work and drive for another couple of hours easy. I don't want it, I'm tired. <laughs> I want to park up. I want to park up. Right, that, there's a blue building over there, which is where I've delivered to in the past. I'm going to aim to park there, but I could park anywhere here as well. There's no lines anywhere down here. But I'll try and park down there, it might be a bit quiet. I think, actually, last time I came around here, there was a car going up and down racing. But I ain't that bothered. Oh, you ain't that bothered. We will park somewhere around here. Peugeot dealership. Was it Peugeot or MN? I think it was MN. There are a lot of cars down here. But we're just going to park up on the left. Try not to block anyone's entrance. Laurie's going to want to come in and out of there. So we're going to park plenty enough forward here. But also not block that black gate. This should do the job. This is home for the night. Yes, and then tomorrow morning... Because we've just because we've just done this extra one hour bit of driving, actually it was one hour fourteen minutes. We did get in a little bit of traffic. We're now only twenty minutes away from our delivery point tomorrow morning. So um, yeah, we can get to the delivery point tomorrow now, much quicker. What uh, if we stayed where we stayed? It would have been more like realistically an hour and a half. Um, but now it's just an hour and uh, oh sorry, now it's just twenty minutes. So a lot less. I'm just gonna. Lower my suspension. I, I've i been driving now for coming up to eight years. And uh, just recently I've realised that I enjoy having my suspension on the tractor unit lowered. So it's slightly angled backwards. Which then means that when I'm laid down on my bed, I'm slightly aiming towards the back of the truck. Less likely to fall out of bed. Not that I've ever fallen out of bed. But it's, I just find it more comfortable leaning against the wall. Um... A little bit, like only ever so slightly. But yeah, that's just done. Engine off. Seat up. Um, steering wheel up, sorry, I should say. <sighs> we'll uh, resume again in the morning. I think. We'll still get up at six and um, we'll aim to be there sort of half six. It's maybe just gone. And um, if there's anyone in, then bonus. If not, we'll have to wait. I'm a little bit dubious because um, it doesn't look like their main branch, it's like a secondary site, but never mind. We'll see what happens tomorrow when we get there, but for now, I'm going to lay down in bed, watch TV and go to bed because I'm I'm quite tired, so i see you in the morning. See you in the morning. Okay, good morning. How is everyone? We just turned up to uh, this place. I don't know where we've got to be, so let's go find someone. Find out where they want us. And then uh, we can get it all tipped off. There we go, still loaded. I don't know where we drive around now, whether I go see someone in here. There's a chance we've got to spin around and reverse in here. There is a chance. So let's go find someone and ask before we drive in any further. 
this is. Right, okay, that's cool. One of my channel members, I don't know if you have realised, but at the start of my video, there's like a list of names of people who basically become a channel member. You can you can be, become part of that list by hitting the join button underneath the video. But one of my channel members is in there and he just spotted me and uh, he said I inspired him to get his licence and all that. So thank you very much, mate, if you are watching this one. Right, we're going to be here a while. I've been told to drive around there, spin around, take straps off, they get to me when they can. I said, yeah, no problem. Uh, do we have a time timeline? He said, normally we don't start until 10 o'clock. It's 6.50. <laughs> so I think we're going to be here a while. So we get the straps off, we're going to get some cloths out and we're going to clean the truck because the wheels are looking a bit, a bit dirty. It was raining yesterday. Anyway, let's drive around and start doing it all. Okay, situation is this. So it's quarter past seven now in the morning. Um, I just phoned my boss up and told them what they told me, that um, I could be here a while. When I asked how long, they said um, they don't normally start until 10 a.m., they said. So I was like, all right, cool. So I've reported that to my boss, as you rightly would, in case it messes things up later, which it probably will. And my boss has said that he was told to get here for seven because they're tipping me at seven. Well, I turned up at quarter to seven, so I'm on time. Um, but yeah, no, I've been told to just sit here and undo my straps, which is what I'm doing, and they get to me when they can. So there's not a lot I could do other than report that back to my boss and see whether he can speed things up his end. Because sometimes all it takes is a phone call. And then, um, before you know it, you're getting tips. So I've done everything I can do. Um, I still don't know what I'm doing from here. If I had to guess that it would be from from here, I'd go back to BMW Swindon and load up and go to Kingsbury. That'd be my guess. But this could put a, a pause in that works. Um, but I've got no idea. That's just pure speculation. So let's worry about the here and now, not the what we could be doing in the future. <laughs> anyway, that's the last strap off. So all, all we got to do now is put all the straps away. We put the ratchets away. We put the corner boards away. Uh, Put the straps away. Let's go. Right, fully strapped or unstrapped, I should say. Everything off: straps, ratchets, corner boards. We filled it with Ablu as well. Um, they keep getting trucks turn up and reversing in their own trucks, which is why they told me to move over here out of the way. So yeah, they're very. Uh, they're very fact that they've asked me to move out of the way already kind of does insinuate that them I'm in the way and they got to do other stuff first. So. Yeah, there's not a lot we can do other than just sit and wait. I'm going to... I was going to clean the wheels, but I'll be honest, I can't be bothered. I'm... It's Friday. It should be getting a wash later, hopefully. So, we'll do it later. I'm going to go sit in the, in the cab and uh, watch some TV, I think. Relax. Although I should say, I'm a little bit... I'm wondering how they're actually going to take these off, because when I got loaded, I did ask if I needed to put extra barriers in between, and he, he said, no, don't worry about it. Just whack it on there so i don't know whether they're going to, i don't think they're going to take the whole lot in one go because it was a big machine that loaded me i don't think they got that size here so i do think it's going to be one at a time but i don't know how they're going to get the forks in between so that's something else they've got to try and figure out i'm sure they'll have an idea i see one truck's coming out one truck's going in he's come out he's going in so yeah let's go sit in the truck right we are in we are in, um, but they are, I've heard them complain about it all being stuck on top of each other, not being buried out, which I did think they would. But when I got loaded, they said that's how it's loaded, so. Yeah, of course, mate. Here we go, buddy. So yeah, that'll be fun. Anyway, while they unload me, I'm uh, just gonna chill and watch some TV. <laughs> Hard life. Okay, no TV because they just took it all off in one lift. Um, we've been here like inside for like two minutes. Now we've got to drive out. I think it's, like, it's raining. I'm glad I did clean my wheels, it's raining. We're just going to drive down here and then we've got to sort out all the timbers, put the timbers away and then uh, find out where we're going next as well. And then uh, crack on with the day. I don't actually know where I'm going next. 
Right, that's all my bear is put away. Just got to put my net back on the trailer. I have to take the net off because it's easier to uh, put the timbers away with it off. Right, we're done. So, we're now empty. The load is off. Uh, trailer timbers are put away. We're good to go. So, that is going to be the end of today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. I think it's been a short one uh, because obviously we on one delivery, uh, sorry, one collection, one delivery, but hopefully you've enjoyed it nonetheless. Uh, and I will see you in the next one. So drive safe, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.